All right, folks, here we are back again. Today we're talking about Ben's Gadget Reviews. This is a guy you can trust totally. I'm going to give you a little history here. He's pretty popular. Uh, about a month ago, I'm on my website, you know, kind of scrolling through stuff, looking at some old posts, and I'm going through a couple of reviewers that I'd written a post on. This is before I started doing a lot of videos. And lo and behold, Ben's Gadget Reviews says, this host is unreachable. Well, that did not hack the program. So I poked around the internet, looked and poked and prodded and finally found him on this channel which is just called Backup Channel. He finally got to 110 subscribers there. He was uh, pretty upset. He posted a couple of videos up there. He had accidentally deleted his account. and I, He was really more concerned with his work stuff, his Google Docs. He had literally deleted his Google account. He somehow got it back. And he's back at Ben's Gadget Reviews right over here and uh, he's I guess he got all his videos back he certainly got all his subscribers back 33,925 subscribers I would kill to have 925 subscribers myself ah uh, he kind of does videos like I do, you know, sits at a desk or he's at a small desk somewhere, I guess his apartment or wherever. He does have the advantage of being able to go outside and take photographs of, of buildings and lights. And I live in Katy's, Kentucky. They roll the sidewalks up at night. There are no lights unless you just want to photograph the gas station across the street. And the only other thing that's tall is the rednecks and their pickup trucks. So, that is not, neither here nor there. Although, if somebody wants to send me $5,000 or go to my website at tabletserver.com and at least donate a little, we'll have some better equipment in here and we'll do better videos. Unfortunately, the outside shots will still include rednecks, pickup trucks, and a whatever scenery there is in a town where a two-story building is considered a skyscraper. Back to Ben. So, he's been back with a vengeance for the last month or so, maybe last three weeks, and he does a lot of stuff. I mean, he did a drone the other day right here, drone video, and uh, He just covered it because it hey, was buddy. because he can. Now he gets stuff way before most reviewers and the rest of the world get it because he lives essentially across the river or ocean or whatever channel. Not really that familiar with where Hong Kong is in relation to Shenzhen, Shenzhen China. But Shenzhen is where, like, Chewy's made. Um, the new OnePlus 6 is made there. And he's, it's kind of like living in New Jersey and let's assume everything was made in New York. He's that far away. Pretty much. Not too far. So he gets stuff quick. He does good reviews. They're very honest. I mean, if something is crap, he'll tell you it's crap. Right off the bat, uh, probably might even use a little bit more colorful language than that sometimes. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's an ex-sailor like I am. I have to constantly bite my tongue so I don't use bad words. Only because I don't want to get kicked off YouTube before I hit my first 10 subscribers. 
So he does these great reviews and I noticed he didn't get a OnePlus 6. Well, that's because if you saw any of the OnePlus 6 videos out there the other day, they didn't really tell you anything but the specs. I mean, I could have gone to their website and read those. They weren't allowed to really analyze it, put it on Geekbench, test the hell out of it, check thermals on it, do gaming on it, none of that. Because most of them got pre-production models. Oh, sure, they're still doing them going, what's it missing? Well, you really don't know because you don't have a final production model. I'm pretty sure had Ben got one, they'd have said, go for it. So they'll probably give him one here just before release. And we'll get to see a good, honest review, not marketing hype. He pretty much takes whatever he gets handed or or he goes out and buys and test it and if it's crud he'll tell you it's crud and that's good and that is why he is our subject of episode four of tech reviewers i trust i don't know what else to say about him uh, he, like I said, he's on my list here, right there, and that just happens to be, I think he was the first one on the list, I can't get rid of his old backup channel. Uh, most of these guys on the list will probably end up with my stamp of approval, although some of them tend to lean towards only high-end crap, but sometimes you need a review of high-end crap. It's just the way it goes. And of course, some people are saying, well, Ben only reviews all that cheap Chinese stuff. Yes, and now I'm talking to you. Yes, point at yourself, Mr. iPhone. I'm watching this on my iPhone. User? Yes. Guess where your iPhone is made. Yeah, it's cheap Chinese crap. No, there's not an American in there. Sorry. I mean, there may be some American companies who own stuff that goes in there, but it still gets made in China. And that is the name of that too. So, this will be the first video I've ever put out with some background music, so we'll see how that works today. Hopefully, we'll get more than 59 views. Or two views like we got on of my previous high-end cheap tech presents video we'll see and that is all i have for today check out ben's gadget reviews it'll be linked uh, in the uh, description below as will my website at tabletserver.com my twitter account and feel free to leave comments Positive, negative, I don't care. Any kind of comment then means you at least watched it. And that is going to be it for this morning. <laughs>